In this video we'll briefly discuss what is amiodarone and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, and contraindications and precautions. First, let's talk about amiodarone mechanism of action. Amiodarone is primarily a class 3 antiarrhythmic. Like other antiarrhythmic agents of this class, amiodarone works primarily by blocking potassium rectifier currents, responsible for the repolarization of the heart during phase 3 of the cardiac action potential. This potassium channel blocking effect results in increased action potential duration and a prolonged effective refractory period in cardiac myocytes. So myocyte excitability is decreased, preventing re-entry mechanisms and ectopic foci from perpetuating tachyarrhythmias. Unlike other class 3 agents, amiodarone also blocks beta-adrenergic receptors, calcium channels, and sodium channels. It is available as 100 mg and 200 mg tablets, and also available as injection. Amiodarone is used in the treatment of atrial or ventricular arrhythmias, especially the life-threatening, recurrent ventricular arrhythmias, that do not respond to other antiarrhythmic agents. The usual loading dose for adults is 800 to 1,600 mg per day in divided doses, for 1 to 3 weeks. Loading dosages are usually toward the lower end of this range for atrial arrhythmias, and toward the upper end of the range for ventricular arrhythmias. And the usual maintenance dose is 100 to 600 mg per day, usually 300 to 400 mg per day for recurrent ventricular tachycardia, and 100 to 200 mg per day for supraventricular tachycardias, such as atrial fibrillation. Corneal microdeposits occur in virtually all patients and are no reason for stopping treatment. However, visual disturbances are reported in about 5%. Neurologic effects occur frequently and include tremor, ataxia, paresthesias, and nightmares, which can be more common during the loading phase. Anorexia, nausea, vomiting, and constipation occur frequently. Transient elevations in hepatic enzymes occur in more than 50% of patients, but clinical hepatitis occurs only occasionally. Photosensitivity occurs frequently, and a blue-gray skin pigmentation develops in 2-4% of patients. Hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism occurs frequently. Occasional proximal muscle weakness and myopathy have been reported. Symptomatic pulmonary fibrosis has been reported in 1 to 6% of patients. Aggravation of ventricular tachycardia and drug-induced torsades to points can occur. Occasional severe sinus bradycardia or AV block has been reported. Amiodaron is contraindicated in case of sinus node dysfunction bradycardia accompanied by syncope, AV block, second or third degree. Use sunscreen or protective clothing in strong sunlight. These precautions should be maintained for up to four months following discontinuation of drug therapy. Regular ophthalmic examination is recommended during administration of amiodaron, and prompt evaluation is required if visual impairment occurs. And finally, report any cough or shortness of breath to your treating physician. That's all for this video, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.